to make your brochure, you're going to go to the Start menu, search for Publisher, start typing in P-U-B until you see Microsoft Publisher, click on it to open it, and then you're going to click on Brochures, select that, make sure that over on the right hand side it says three panel, that's the type we're making for this class. Then pick any of these templates that you want. Informational ones will probably work well, but there's more if you scroll down. If you want to pick a different one. Select one. Another thing you can do is over where it says business information, you can create a new business information. You can put the names of everyone working on it. If you want a job position, you could just leave that blank, or you could put student. Put Shucks in Middle School, and you could add this information of the address and phone number if you want to. And you could add your tagline or motto, motto right on here. So something like, be internet safe, or something. You could think of something more creative, I bet. That will just go under your main title. And then you want to save that. Make sure you see what the title is for it so you'll know to select it. So I'm going to click Save and it's going to add Custom 2 to my brochure. So I'm going to double click on it to get it started. And you want to always remember that you have two pages. The front page has, or page 1, has the front cover, the back, and the inside flap. Page two has the left, right, center, and right panels that will be on the inside of your brochure. Your checklist for this assignment explains exactly what I'm looking for on each of these six panels. You can see this says Shucks in Middle School. You're going to title your brochure something along the lines of Internet safety brochure. You can, instead of telephone number, put created by and everyone's name who works on it. And you can start changing pictures. So if you remember, if you select a picture, go up to insert and clip art, and then you can search for a picture that might work better there and find something that you like. And you can double click to add the picture and it will put it in the place of that picture that's already there. You can move it around to get it to look just how you want it before it's cropped. And then when you click off of it, it will automatically crop the picture for you. Some of the pictures in the brochures have captions or words underneath them, and they've grouped the words with the picture. So it's not going to work to replace the picture unless you first ungroup them. To do that, you're going to go to Picture, Tools, and Format. Actually, you want to make sure you select down, and uh, they're both selected. And then under Format, there should be something that says Ungroup. You need to ungroup them before you can replace that picture. If you don't, you don't necessarily need a caption unless you find it on the internet, and then you're going to put the internet address. So I'm going to delete this one. If you use clip art, you don't need a caption for it. So now I can go ahead and replace that picture with some clip art. And move it where I want it to go. And you can use picture tools to do some changes to it. So when you have a picture selected, you can go to the picture tools under format. You can add borders, shadows, I'll show you. You can change the weight of the borders to add thicker lines. You can change the color of the border something different if you want to. <clears throat> and 
you're just going to continue making changes. Make sure you change all of the pictures and all of the text. So you're going to add titles. You may want to have bullet points in some places instead of just um, paragraphs of text because several of the things would work well with bullet points. So to do that, you can delete the text and then under your home ribbon, you can look for bullet points or numbering and choose what you would want it to look like on there. And then start typing in your ideas. But just remember to change every title and all the text and delete any text and you can just replace it with your own. And another thing you may want to do is go to page design up at the top ribbon and you don't have to stick with the colors that are there originally. You can change the whole color scheme of your brochure if you want to to something completely different and it will change the entire thing. So you can play around with that to make it look just how you want it and once you get it the way you think that you want it and you have all the text changed to the information that, are, that I ask you to put on it, then you're done. Another important thing is that while you're working, you want to make sure you file and save often. The first time you save it, you need to put it into the computer H drive, just like we always do in, in your media apps folder. You want to title it the last names of anyone who's working on the brochure with you, comma, brochure, and save. And when you're done with the whole thing, save it again, and you're going to submit it to Moodle. Have fun!